Karen Danchuk, welcome to Five News tonight. It looks like you're going through what is a pretty messy breakup at the moment. Why do the rest of us even need to know about that? Um, I don't think you need to know about it. And Simon doesn't think you need to know about it. You know, we are very private in our life. Um, what's been played out that we've, we've absolutely against each other and you know hate each other is just not true at all. You know things are very amicable. We, we speak regularly on the phone. You know we've got two young boys that you know are just the most important thing to us both. So we don't think um, it's a public issue. It's a private matter. It should be a private matter between me, Sam, and our boys. Yeah. But uh, the media, I think there's some interest there and, and print. Well, not just, not just the media. I mean, you say you're private. I think other people would be surprised to hear that because Simon Danchuk, MP, your uh, current husband, has been speaking to the Sun newspaper. You've been tweeting yeah. all sorts of things that seem to suggest you think, well, for, for example, he's an alcoholic. Is this the case? I th do you know, I think with that tweet that I, you know, for me, I am human, whether I'm in the public eye, whether I'm not in the public eye, I'm human and I get upset by things. And if something's been printed that is just not correct about me, that's completely wrong, then, you know, I have an end of a tether, just like you have an end of a tether. Okay. Well, and what's, I been will printed, react to what's been printed that's wrong? I know you want well, to. Well, I've not been having straight. an affair. There is no affair. I've never had an affair. There won't be an affair. There's just no affair. I've not talked um, about intimacies. You, you know, that is just completely incorrect. I've not done all these different stories. Everything that's been printed all week actually hasn't even come from me. It's just completely misquoted. But people saying, oh, Karen, you've done this. Well, no, I've not done that. I've not actually done anything, um, but it's there. And you know, Simon did his interview, he did it, you, you know. And again, he, he would say the same, you know. It's an emotional time. So if you're going through this and you've got newspapers or you know media that want to ensure that it's going off in public, you know, he will get upset over something. and. You know, I will get upset over something and, you know, we, we both, like I say, speak regularly. We've said, you know, absolutely no way. You know, we, we both agree, you know, whatever is printed, we know that we're not doing it now. So we can just, you know, put them a couple of tweets behind us and, mm. and move on. You're absolutely right saying is whatever is printed because the newspapers have a, you know, a different view of things than perhaps we do in the broadcast media. Yeah. We're interested in how you get to this stage of being well known as you undeniably are, married to a very well known uh, MP. And we seem to know an awful lot more about, the, about you than perhaps you would like and perhaps your boys would like. Um, I think, I don't know, do you? Do you know much about me? Do, does the world really well, know an, much about me? There's an awful me? lot, you tweet an awful lot. I tweet an awful lot. Whether it's awful lot, pictures or things you yeah, say. Yeah. I mean, you did say you weren't doing any interviews and here we are. Yeah, no, I'm having to do this because I've been, you know, painted as this scarlet, horrible woman you all week. You don't have to, do you? I mean, because no, you can tweet, because, of course. Well, I could tweet it, but, you, you know, I just think it's for me to come on air now, and I don't do this lightly, and I do it also, you know, to protect my boys, and, you know, Simon knows I'm doing this interview. He's absolutely in agreement with it, that it just needs, the record needs setting straight, that, you know, things that have been... Uh, Minus the story that Simon did himself, which he would agree. Uh, the rest of it, it, it's not been anything that's, you know, come from me or, um, you know, private intimacies is not anything I would never in a million years discuss with anyone, mm. let alone allow it to be printed. It's... Do you think the situation now is because of the way you have perhaps behaved online in the past? Because, you know, we're all familiar with the selfies you like to take. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't begrudge being in the public eye, and you like I've... It. You want I to be say, in the public eye. No, I wouldn't say I want to be in the public eye. I just kind of have to, I've been thrust into the public eye and I'm having to deal with it very quickly. It's, you know, it's like 12 months. It's, it's happened very, very quickly. Um, I've had the paparazzi camped outside of my home all week. Fine, no problem, because you have to take the rough with the smooth. But what I don't agree with and what I do not like is when there are perceptions and things put out there in media outlets in any way, shape or form that are just lying, that are misquoting, that are making it out that I've done an interview that I haven't done an interview mm. and that's what I don't like of it that's the, that's the part that and that's why I'm having to sit here now I'm not sat here because I want to you know I'm, I'm, I'm as lovely as you are <laughs> um, it, I'm sat here because I feel like I have to do it and I have to say listen it's not me you know mm. 
It's we, we're very united, me and Sam. And the, my, the, the boys are like my priority. You know, they're very supporting in any way. You know, I have a very, very open and honest relationship. Because, because you could just switch the Twitter off, you could not bother going on it, you could not bother doing any of this and have yeah, a very quiet I, time. Well, no, no, because the newspaper would still print that, wouldn't they? They still well, print. So eventually, I like, eventually, they would go away. Yeah, well, I might try that. Shall I try <laughs> turn off Twitter? But I don't, should, I, should I turn off Twitter in the hope that a newspaper or someone might not misquote me? No, I don't think I should because it, I just think it's... You know, I, I use Twitter just like anyone else uses Twitter, and it's not an excuse to just because I use Twitter and I might do the occasional selfie or I might put myself up there. It's a bit more than the occasional. Yeah, the occasional, yeah, daily selfie. Honest. Then that doesn't give any anyone a right to to print or misquote me. It's not an excuse. It's not Karen. You do selfies. You're on Twitter. You're kind of out there. So we're actually going to print all this about you. It's, in, not, it's not right. It, interesting point. I mean, you do liken it to other people using Twitter. Of course, you're slightly different. You're married to a lawmaker, for one thing. But do you think social media has encouraged people to just share too much, overshare, if you like? Um, that is a very interesting question. Possibly, yeah, because, I mean... 30 years ago, you couldn't have got messages out so instant. But I think that's the, the society and the world that we can now live in, don't we? Mm. You know, everything everything is here and now. Breaking yeah. news, you had to wait till 10 o'clock, you know, years ago. Now, breaking news, it's straight there. You know, so it's a world that... It's just the way we live now, isn't it? So, Everything's fairly instant. So in terms of the way you've used it, do you have any regrets? In terms of Twitter? Yeah, well, in terms of social um, media, yeah. I think in hindsight, I think maybe I shouldn't have tweeted a tweet. I've only really tweeted one major, you know, negative tweet about the separation. That was like, because I was at the end of my tether. So probably, yeah, that would probably be the thing where I thought, you know what, I, I just wish. But it's, it's so upsetting and, you know, people don't really, it really is upsetting when you read these things and you think, gosh, that is not true. That is not true. That is not true. And you think, in my word. You know, it's hurtful, isn't it? So just like anyone else would be, just like having an argument with your wife or husband at home, sometimes you say things you later regret and mm. you wish you hadn't done that. So that would be my only thing. If I do have a disagreement with my wife, I tend not to tweet about it. I mean, this is a personal... <laughs> well, we're separated, but yeah. Yeah, personal rule of mine. I mean, well, that, that, you say you're separated. I mean, it does beg the question, what next? And I'm not talking about the situation with your marriage. I mean... Personally speaking, um, you know, in terms of job, I mean, we've, we've here you might want to run for mayor of Greater Manchester. <laughs> so, what's coming down the line? Um, I don't know. I mean, there is so many offers at the moment. You know, um, a variety of offers which are amazing. Uh, but for me, just at this moment in time, you know, they're there on the table. You know, I will look through them, but it, I just want to look after my what boys. What kind of offers are we talking about? Can you say? Just. TV, radio, politics, blogging, mm -hmm. you know. So it's really exciting stuff and, you know, I will I will do something, but right this second for me, I just want to be there for my boys and just, you know, ensure that this transition that we, we're all going through at the moment is as smooth as possible for them. So they're ultimately my priority at the moment. Karen Danchuk, many thanks. Thank you.